welcome to MMA Freak Friday of the Week. I'm Matt Salzer. Sorry if my throat sounds a little out of sync. I have just had either a cold or allergies. It's not COVID because the symptoms aren't anywhere near as bad. But either way, I'm going to do, again, brief reviews. At some point, I'm going to start going more in depth, but I'm going to do a brief review of the main event of UFC 258, and then I'm going to do a preview of the main event of UFC Fight Night, Blades versus Lewis. So for that main event, I honestly did not give Gilbert Burns enough credit. He actually pushed Kamaru Usman to the limit. He almost knocked him out multiple times. Ultimately, it was Usman who was able to come back and actually get the knockout victory, but it was a close fight. It was, it was a lot of back and forth. And to see that fight go out the way it did, I like I said, I did not give Burns enough credit. He almost became the champion. Now, I know that there's a lot of talk about Usman being the greatest fighter of all time because he tied George St. Pierre's longest streak. Here's the thing. I don't feel he's the greatest of all time because that streak was not as champion. That's my criteria is that in order for it to be a record-breaking treat or for him to be considered the greatest of all time, he needs to tie George St. Pierre. That's my criteria. I don't think it can really go any other way. Either way, it was a good fight. Great for Usman. Now, for the main event of UFC Fight Night, Blades versus Lewis, I really think that Blades has the advantage because he's the more technical fighter, but we have seen Lewis overcome more technical fighters before. He knocked out Alexander Volkov in the last minute of the fight. I can't remember if that's accurate, but it's a metaphor. So he has that power to certainly accomplish that, but it's a question of will he actually be able to do it. Blades, like I said, is the more technical fighter, and Derek Lewis is more of a brawler. He's more of a knockout artist, but like I said, he does have that power. But will certainly be interesting to see how this goes. After all, Lewis does own a decision victory over Francis Ngannou, who is the all-time power puncher in the UFC, and I would argue out of those two, Ngannou was the more technical fighter. It's just that for some reason they just didn't engage and Lewis was the more aggressive of the two fighters. So that's what we got. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of both this last weekend at UFC 258 and this coming weekend for UFC Fight Night. Blades versus Lewis. Be sure to follow us at MMA Freakout on Twitter. Be sure to follow me at Matthew Sullivan, both my Twitter and my Instagram. Be sure to check out MMA-freak.com for exclusive content. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.